Sarah from Sarah's Holistic Health. Um, I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video actually about um, something new that's happening for me. I've just started to um, distribute Neil's Yard products. So I've become a Neil's Yard consultant. And um, I mean it ties in really well with my holistic lifestyle, my passion for holistic health um, and I wanted to do a review actually about one of the products that I've tried. Um, usually I don't actually use products on my skin, I kind of rely on my diet to make my skin look good and moisturised and clear and I found it really hard to actually find um, skin products um, which don't, uh, even natural ones, which haven't caused a reaction on my skin. Uh, my skin's really sensitive to any chemicals, anything like that. Um, so I've never really been able to find anything. Occasionally I used to use coconut oil um, as a moisturiser, um, but that always, didn't always work for me either. So in the end I just didn't really use anything on my skin, and although um, like the green juice I drink, they kind of moisturise my skin. When it's winter time, my skin still struggles with the cold at staying um, moisturised, especially if you've got your heating on as well. Um, that can dry out your skin quite quickly, and you know you've got to drink loads of water in winter to uh, replenish your hydration if you've got the heating cranked up all day. So, um, yeah, I've become a Neil's Yard consultant and um, as soon as I saw their products, I got really excited about them. Um, and I know as soon as I get excited about something, that's a good sign, there's something that I should do. Um, you need to be excited about something that you're doing. And um, they're basically, Neil's Yard are a, um, it's a family company in Devon and it's a eco-run, um, they make them in Devon, and it's an eco-run factory, um, and they use all their own organic um, herbs and essential oils, all the products are organic they use, um, and natural and whole, there's no horrible preservatives, I think they just use like preservatives such as like vitamin E and essential oils as their preservatives like um, lemon. Um, and this one, which I've like fallen in love with, um, is Wild Rose Beauty Balm, and it's amazing. Um, I've got quite rosy cheeks, which like um, in the cold or hot weather can flush quite easily because of my sensitive skin um, and it used to be a lot worse before I changed my diet um, I used to flush, my whole face used to flush um, it used to be like rosacea um, but I managed to get rid of that, thank goodness from uh, my diet um, but my mum and my sisters have all got kind of that um, that rosy rosy cheeks and um, I suppose it's like the English rose kind of skin. Um, so this is the one that I tried. Um, it's Wild Rose Beauty Balm. And it's actually something that you can use as either a cleanser or just like a nourishing balm. Um, so you can apply it over your face and neck. And then you can remove with a damp cloth. But what I did was I just put it on like a light layer on and then went to sleep with it on um, and firstly I always know if a product's good because my skin reacts to it basically straight away it gets itchy and you can see where it's um, it comes up in like a rash usually like around here on my chin area um, so that didn't happen my skin felt really um, soothed and it had a really nice glow as well. Um, 
and because I've been running outside in the cold and it was freezing yesterday morning I kind of got a little bit of chapness around here so and this morning it's like totally gone and it feels brilliant and my skin just looks um, really just really hydrated and it feels really good as well and that's even with the heating on <laughs> um, so I've been blown away by this um, and I'll read you the ingredients in it it's got rose hip seed oil um, Jehovah if that's how you pronounce it I think it's Jehovah seed oil um, beeswax shea butter hemp seed oil borage geranium flower oil rosemary um, frankincense patchouli um, that's all the essential oils but like they're just amazing that all that nourishment for your skin from all the natural um, herbs and flowers and plants is just it's lovely it's nice to put something on your skin but you know it's only doing it good there's no fillers in here there's nothing that is going to be detrimental for your skin um, and also they're organic which is even better so no nasty chemicals going on your face and yeah I'm I'm very excited I'm going to be throwing Neil to yard parties and um, spreading the word of these brilliant, brilliant products. And I'll be um, testing them out and letting you know what I think of all of them. Um, I've tried the, there was um, like a spot kind of healer. Um, I can't remember the ingredients, but I tried it on my girlfriend because she squeezed a spot like here and you know those ones that they just like get red and angry and um, I think it got infected because she squeezed it too much and so we put um, I put like a little bit of this onto her spot and like in about five minutes the redness had gone away and um, then applied a little bit more before bed and this morning it's just like a little bit of a scab that's probably just going to fall off so another product that worked amazingly well so yeah Neil's Yard really excited about trying all of their different products and um, I wanted to say also I've lost there was something that I was going to say that was really important <laughs> now I can't remember um, Oh yes, um, I'm on my, I've done two weeks of raw food, um, so I just wanted to update you on my cleanse at the moment. Um, I am on, so it's 14 days of like, I haven't been 100% raw every day, but probably like out of 14, I've done 12. I think two days like, I had some vegetarian curry um, with my mum, but um I've been kind of upping the raw food lately because um, I don't know I just I'm always high raw food that's that's what makes me feel good but I wanted to it just felt right for my body I use my intuition and it's kind of being drawn towards having more raw food again um, I don't know if it's something to do with like spring on its way and my body wanting to cleanse itself I know that I am doing so much decluttering in the house that there's not going to be anything left soon like every day I feel like I want to declutter and clear away old stuff and that's usually to kind of like cleanse away the old energies let in new stuff um, so I think that's why so yeah I'm on my 14 days um, although I'm not really counting now so I don't know how long it is but I'm kind of just going with the flow and I feel really good um, I think at the moment I'm really enjoying in the evenings um, not having to cook 
So I used to do probably raw up until dinner and then cook something in the evenings. And at the moment I'm just having like a smoothie or a nut milk in the evenings and I just bung everything into the blender and then um, have that and that's been much easier and quicker and when I get back from the gym it's, um, you know, I can get to come upstairs and just relax and not have to cook stuff. I do like cooking and preparing uh, raw food sometimes but um, I'm enjoying the easiness and simplicity of raw foods at the moment and um, feeling good energy levels are definitely higher when I'm 100% raw although they're not bad like they're still really good um, when you're like 80% but um, for me when you're 100% um, I just wake up a like just that little bit earlier and just to a bit more awake and ready to go. Um, so that's going really well. Um, I'm going to be doing a green juice cleanse soon as well. Probably um, seven days, but I'm not going to commit myself to anything. Again, I'm trying to be... My thing for 2012 is to be easy on myself and to just go with my intuition and what my body's telling me. So I take each day as it comes um, and be in the present moment. So I'll be doing a green juice cleanse soon. Um, I'm saying next week, but I'm not committing to that either. So I'll let you know when um, I'll be doing that, and I'll I'm going to be posting on Facebook, and then anyone who wants to join in and needs support, or we can support each other, can do that with me. That'd be really good. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick video really to um, talk about Nils Yard products. Um, if anyone's got any questions about Neil's Yard, um, post below or contact me. Uh, if anyone's got any questions on juicing or raw food or holistic living, then contact me as well. I'll be very happy to answer. Um, anyway, thank you for listening and I will see you all again soon and have a great day. Bye.